Aloha, everyone. I'm going to try to make this video lesson fast as it's Sunday afternoon on Maui. It's been a whirlwind weekend for me. Uh, but the Tax Plan and Jobs Act passed while I was on the other side of the island. Saw Bitcoin crash, and I heard that CVS Health is buying Aetna. All of that seems, not the Bitcoin crash per se, but after hitting 12,000, pulling back, it just... It, there's been a lot of basically a lot of headlines during the weekend and overall two out of three are bullish I have not checked the futures market yet, but I kind of don't want to kind of gonna wait till later on tonight to see how they act after they open But we'll see how everything gets digested But I would think that the Aetna news and the tax plan jobs act is going to be bullish But what do I know in the stock market a lot of times things run up into the news and sell off following the news So it'll be interesting to see once I'm done with the video and after the Giants lose another football game to see where the futures are. So we'll start it off with a new long position. I have one new long position, SUPV. SUPV initially shows up in my Cancelum Quality Scan, my Cancelum Quality Stock Scan, and then my Perfect Speculator Scan. It's a lower price Perfect Speculator Scan. So it's an across-the-board confirmation. Because the stock is in a strong uptrend, because the stock's over 20, I would consider it a higher quality Perfect Speculator Scan. So as it is, it would be 2% for the Cancelum signal, 2% for the Perfect Speculator signal, but it is slightly extended from the 20-day moving average, so it's just going to be a 2% signal. I want to get long using a limit order at 2650 first cut loss boom right there move below that low right there 2604 me i'll be using a series of three stops 33.33 percent at each level 2604 is the first level this should be the final stop probably for everyone else if you decide to use two 2423 and then right now for me 2237 because even though I can get a full position, I like the stock. I want to see if I can give it some time to work. But if this first level goes, even before the second level, especially if the third one doesn't come into play, I'll be moving half for all of my stops up immediately. And once again, I'm looking for a measured move anywhere similar to any of the legs of this uptrend or all of the previous uptrend compared to that initial risk at these two or three levels, depending on what you use. But SUPV, it's not perfect because it's extended from the 20. Slightly extended from the 50, very extended from the 200, but it, by using that first cut loss level, it's a kind of low risk position. Then I have three ad signals. MGPI is giving another ad signal. It basically gave one back here, but Interactive Broker shook me out of this trade. I can't even remember when that happened when it ran all of my stops, but I think it was back here in May. At first, it was good as it pulled back, but it held the 200-day moving average. Got an ad signal here, and it was basically a new buy signal for me. Well, now I got another ad signal with the pocket pivot point signal off the 10- and 20-day moving average. Once again, not perfect. BOP is below the zero line. Um, price is extended slightly from the 50 and 200-day moving average, but if we use that first cut loss level, we're good to go. Want to get long or add to MGPI limit order 7506, the high of the day, so it's not extended. First cut loss level 7174, and then you can use this level right here, which post split it's different here. It should be 6899, the lowest 69. Telechart doesn't adjust for dividends, which is just stupid, but that's what they do. So that's how that is for MGPI. Now, MGPI is a perfect speculator quality stock and a cancelum quality stock. But since it's an ad signal, it has to be halved. So it's going to be a 2% ad signal for MGPI. Then MODN, oh, once again for MGPI, I want to keep letting everybody know this. The previous measure move, I'm looking for any of these uptrend levels or possibly hopefully all of the previous uptrend as a potential measured move compared to the inherent risk by using this and this stop level. MODN, perfect speculator quality stock. It's not perfect. It's extended from the 20-day moving average, but the intraday price wick is hitting the 10-day moving average. MODN does have max green bop for the past five days, so that's where it was confirmed in. So it was in my low price, perfect speculator scan, confirmed in my max green bot for five day scan. So using this level here, I want to go ahead and add to my MOD position because I like the way this looks. And I really, really, really like the way this move off the November lows and the current consolidation looks with the max green bot. Does it probably need more time before zooming higher? Yes, but if the market blasts off higher without pulling back more like it has been lately, we might not get a chance. So MODN, 
want to add to my long position using a limit order at 1630, the close, not the high of the day, since it's extended from the 20 day moving average. First cut loss level for me, 1565. My final cut loss level will be right here, 1480. If anyone decides to take this, especially if you're new, I it's all about protecting capital, quote, quote, up here. Remember, whenever I say, quote, quote, up here, I'm referencing the 2009 lows, not the recent lows in the market, you know, back here in July or November or this low here in 2016. I'm referencing these lows here. So whenever I say up here, I mean up here. So once again, if you go long stocks in the market with the market being up here, please cut those losses as soon as possible. And if you're a new investor, please adhere to just basically my first recommended cut loss level, especially on MOD and with it being extended from the 20 day moving average. Once again, not perfect because of that. Then there's DEL, DEL. Remember DEL is PCH. PCH has a good, decent little chart right here, but that's not what I'm working off of. PCH is also can slim quality. So Dell has the great technical pattern. It's a quality stock, hence the 92 stock price, but I'm referencing it as a PCH stock, basically. PCH is can slim quality, so it helps whenever I get the price volume BOP surge here with the BOP confirmed in my green BOP for the past 20 day scan and the max green BOP for five day scan right off the 50 day moving average. So with Dell, once again, want to add limit order 92.88. First cut loss level right there, 90.71. Second cut loss level even if you want to, 89.94. Or that can be your first one or it can be your second one. And then 85.96 can be your final one. So if it moves below 85.97, I will be completely out of Dell, but for right now, I have a stop here. Once I get this ad signal, a stop here and a stop here, three stops, just like I'll be working on SUPV. All right, everyone, I want to wrap that up once again with Dell. <laughs> like I said, just want to keep mentioning this. I'm either looking for the entire next uptrend to be just like the previous one, or even this measured move right here, or even a measured move like this right here compared to the inherent risk. It's well within my four to one win loss ratio. Just remember, anytime you see me go long anything, I'm looking at a measured move similar to the entire previous uptrend or any part of that entire uptrend and any part of the of a move higher like here to here, here to here, here to here, here to here will always be at least more than two to one the inherent risk in the stops. But I'm ultimately always looking for greater than four to one still right now in all the signals. And once again, all of these long signals have that. And that's why they're all new long positions.